first saw George Wilberforce Kakoma born around 1925 in Masaka is a graduate of Trinity College of Music and Daham University. Kakoma is a professor of music, the first trained professional composer of East Africa, and an accomplished singer and distinguished author. He studied music for nine years and later started composing as a lay person when he was a student at King's College Budo. Upon leaving Budo after six years, he joined Conservatory Music, an academy of music which was set up for the whole East Africa but mainly catered for Europeans. He was there for four years until he did overseas examinations which permitted him to enter musical colleges and universities in England. He went to Britain in 1947 and did a diploma at Trinity College of Music, University of London. He later joined another university, University of Dala in London for three years, after which he started teaching music in various London colleges and universities. Kakoma is credited for composing the national anthem of the Republic of Uganda. From 1894 to 1962, Uganda was ruled by Britain. As the struggle for independence intensified, it became clear that Uganda was going to attain independence from the British colonial masters and would need both a national anthem and a national flag that embodied its independence. Prior to independence, a subcommittee for the creation of national anthem was set up. It was one of the three subcommittees established to deal with Uganda's national symbols. Professor Senteza Kajiri was the chairman of the committees. The subcommittee organized a countrywide publicity campaign for original compositions. Ugandans were encouraged to submit their pieces. The compositions had to be short, original, solemn, praising and looking forward to the future, said Professor Kajiri. Many people participated in the music competition, but the committee was not satisfied. Professor Kajiri decided to seek help from George Wilberforce Kakoma, then a renowned inspector of schools and a music teacher in Masaka district, to save the committee because they did not have a national anthem. According to Kakoma, a strange tune rang continuously in his head at night, disrupting his sleep. He decided to wake up and put pen to paper. I sat down and looked through what I had ciphered during the night hours. I worked on those ideas till midday. After he had done everything, he consulted his English friend Peter, who was a specialist in English at Macquarie University and also a musician. I was not surprised when my song was chosen by the committee that had been given the powers to produce the national anthem. For me, composing was not an accident or a gamble. I was not surprised when my song was chosen by the committee that had been given the powers to produce the national anthem. For me, composing was not an accident or a gamble. I am a trained composer and writing is the work of professionals. Others who composed were not professionals, Kakoma says. The events that led to the panic and publishing of the national anthem are interesting. No conditions were attached to the would-be winning entry. After Kakoma's composition, he was declared winner and rewarded with a token of 2,000 shillings as appreciation. A year later, in 1963, the government wrote to him asking him to surrender his copyright. He did not trash but referred the matter to his lawyers who wrote back to government demanding for 5,000 shillings before he could sign off his copyright. But thereafter, there was political turmoil under Idi Amin, forcing him to leave the country in January 1975 for Kenya, where he taught at Kenyatta University until 1986 when he returned to Uganda. After he returned, he again raised the matter reacting to his copyright before the Ministry of Justice, a matter which was turned down on grounds that compensating him would cause a precedent. It should also be noted that Professor Kakoma composed the melody, but the lyrics were composed by Peter Wingan, Kakoma's personal friend and the lecturer at Makere Institute of Education. Ugandan national anthem composer Professor George Wilberforce Kakoma died on the 8th of April 2012 and was laid to rest at his home in Mawumwe along Hoima Road, Wakiso District.